Hey everybody, Mr. On Demand, man with the master plan. And my master plan today is to help you upgrade to Windows 11. Now this is going to work regardless of your hardware requirements, whether you have a TPM module or whether you have Secure Boot. This is going to work regardless of whether or not you're running Windows 10 or an older version of Windows 11 that doesn't seem to want to update to the newest version of Windows 11. And you could be, you know, in store for not getting security updates in the near future if you're not running the newest version of Windows 11. Also, this is going to keep all of your files and programs. You're not going to lose anything. This is not a fresh install. This is an upgrade that will just upgrade your Windows. So stay tuned for this video while I go step by step through everything you need to know on how to do this without anything complicated at all. It's super simple and easy. Let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to show you here is some people who have upgraded to different versions of Windows are not going to be able to actually upgrade to Windows 25 H2 maybe over the normal upgrade path that Microsoft gives you. If that is the case in your situation and you're stuck on 22 H2 or 24 H2 or whatever version of Windows that you might be stuck on, this particular machine is 24 H2 and I do know people who are stuck on 22 H2 and they need an upgrade path. They're like, well, um, it's not upgrading my version of Windows over the internet. And there's a lot of features that you may want that are in these newer versions of Windows 11. Let's go ahead and go over how to get the uh, ISO image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go on the internet and we're just going to type in Windows 11 ISO download into a Google search and simply enough just go to Microsoft's website. Now what you can do is you can go down here and you don't want to do this one, create a Windows installation of media, you don't want to do that one. You want to download the disk image file because you need this ISO file in order to make the USB drive that will allow you to go ahead and upgrade your computer if you're missing some uh, of the specifications that Windows 11 requires. Select download. Right here, you're going to go ahead and Windows 11 Multi Edition, confirm, and you're going to choose a language. We're going to go ahead and choose English United States, confirm, and then you're going to get your download link right here. And then once you download it, it's going to be the 25H2 English ISO image just like I have right here. Now I'm going to take this ISO image and I'm going to go ahead and make a USB drive. So what I got is I have a USB drive right here. PMY one this time. Some of you talked a little bit of crap about the Micro Center ones. But honestly, if you're just, I just buy cheap, uh, small size uh, flash drives for making lots of different operating systems because I'm always doing a new version of an operating system and or trying out different operating systems, whether it be an Android operating system or a Linux operating system or a new version of Windows. So let's go ahead and stick this in my USB drive. Let's go ahead and go back to... Uh, the Windows desktop. Now on the Windows desktop, I've got hard drive tools. We're going to go in here and I've got the Rufus 4.10p. The P stands for portable. I generally download the portable version. That way I got all the different versions of Rufus in case, of a, in case an older version does something a little different than a newer version does just so I have the flexibility to go back. If I find out the new version for some reason isn't working, I can try the old version and see if it will work. Um, that being said though, uh, you can get Rufus just by typing Rufus in to a Google search, going to their website and downloading Rufus and then just double clicking on it and opening the portable Rufus. Once you've downloaded and opened Rufus, you are then ready uh, to go ahead and do it. Oh, and look, and we've got, this is perfect because we have a version 4.11 that is a newer version than what we had out. So we're gonna close this real quick. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to download Rufus. So let's go ahead and open another tab here and we're gonna type Rufus. This is only gonna take a second. Let's go to Rufus and we're gonna go down here and download the uh, version that I need. 4.11p right here is the portable version I wanna download. Let's close this. Uh, okay, you hit the little X in the corner of that ad and then you get the Rufus. Uh, it needs to say Rufus 4.11p. 
uh, if you want the portable version. And there's the portable version right there. I'm going to move it into the folder on my desktop later, but we're just going to double click on that so that we can uh, go ahead and run the newest version of Rufus. Now here's the newest version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ISO image. It's already got my USB drive selected there. There's the 25H2 that I just downloaded from Microsoft. And pretty much that's it. I'm not going to change anything else here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And I'm going to check mark all of these boxes. And I'm going to change this name because if I want it to create a local account, I don't want it to say Mr. On Demand. I'm just going to put the, I'm going to put the name owner. That's what I usually do. Um, but that way I can use, I'll be able to use this flash drive with 25H2 on other computers I own or for other customers computers. And we're going to hit OK. And warning all data on the device will be destroyed to continue with this operation. Hit OK to quit. Click cancel. We're going to hit OK. And it's deleting the partition and creating the drive. Okay, so what's going to happen is, is at the end of creating the USB drive, it's going to say ready. And I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's ready. You can close this out now. You're done. And what you want to do is open the USB drive. You can either go to your file explorer, or if you have the my computer or this PC icon on your desktop, you can open that up. You're going to find that USB drive. So I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to the USB drive and there's the USB drive right there and we're going to open it up. Now you're going to see a setup icon. Real simple. Open it up. Click setup. Self-explanatory. It's an icon that says setup. It means you're going to set up Windows 11. Absolutely. And what you're going to do is you don't have to check mark this one to help make installation better. Next, I'm going to check for updates. And this is going to upgrade this particular computer to Windows 11 25H2. At the end of the video, I'll show you that it's upgraded to 25H2. And then we'll be done. Well, let's minimize this. And we're getting a few things ready. Checking your PC. And blah, blah, blah. Applicable notice and license terms. And we're going to scroll all the way down just in case. I don't think you have to. But we're going to hit accept. Making sure you're ready. You can read through that license terms and agreement. There might be something funny in there that you might want to know about. That Microsoft is making you give up, you know, something that you don't want to give up. I don't know. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so it's not for me to speak. Maybe, you know, somebody with a little more intelligence in that area can speak on that and let us all know about what the license agreement <laughs> tells us, right? So getting updates ready. This may take a few minutes. Checking for updates, 46%, etc., etc., etc. So now it's going to be ready to install. You're going to see the install Windows 11 Pro. You're keeping all your personal files and data. It's going to go through the installing Windows. This is going to take some time, but after it's done, you're going to see that your Windows is completely upgraded to 25H2. Whether you're running Windows 10 or, or an older version of Windows 11, this is going to get your Windows upgraded so that you're ready to rock and roll with the new version of Windows. So if this video was helpful to you, please leave a comment down below how it was helpful and let me know if there's any questions you have that I can answer. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll be bringing you more information on how to do upgrades and updates and the best ways to upgrade and take care of any kind of weird technical Windows problems or gaming problems or streaming problems on your Android devices as well. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.